Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm here today to do a mixed haul, if you will. I have a Bath and Body Works, I have L3, and I have a Rose Girl. So I have a lot going on in this video. Excuse the lighting, excuse my uh, scenery here. I am at my desk in my bedroom. I did have a video here at my desk um, recently as well. I'm all about comfort. I'm all about what works for you. And sometimes I can't just, you know, have the best lighting or have the best background. So here we are. Um, sorry, you know, it is what it is. But I am working right now. But it's like I'm it's at the end of the day and I have a little bit of time so let's just do it so from Bath and Body Works I ordered some hand sanitizer packs the five packs because my bridal shower is in a little bit under a month and I want to use those as like a take-home favor and I got cute little um labels made from Etsy and they have like they seen Megan's bridal shower with my date so they're super cute um so I ordered that and then they had some some they had their fall soaps on sale and out of all the soaps that I have the my fall soaps are like the least amount so I ordered some of those so let's just hop right in I got a five pack of these sanitizers in Cozy Vanilla Almond. I hope these are not freaking open. You know how sometimes they get. So Cozy Vanilla Almond, these were not on sale and I'm super upset because today they had a sale on them. I know, I was waiting for them to go on sale but I was like, I don't wanna wait any longer. So I ordered these, I had a 20% off coupon. So they were like a little bit over a dollar each, but I'm still upset. So I got Cozy Almond Vanilla feel like cozy vanilla, vanilla almond, whatever. I feel like it's just like a scent that everybody would like. I got sunshines and lemon. So I know some people like citrusy scents for their sanitizers. I got lavender vanilla, another very common scent in sanitizer. And last but not least, I got champagne toast, which I feel like is a favorite of a lot of people. I just wanna make sure none of these are open. wetness okay so I got those that's 20 in total I think I'm have like probably like 15 but under 20 for sure that are coming so I'll just keep the extras and then I got five soaps so the first soap that I got is sunwashed santal santal um, I've been loving like Santal scents. So this is Italian bergamot, white violet, and amber wood. Super pretty neutral packaging. Oh, that's nice. It gives me like a men's body wash, but a very luxurious men's body wash, not like an Axe body wash or anything like that. This is like a very luxurious men's body wash and it's super nice and I love this packaging. All right, I got one of my favorite scents. This is Leaves and look how pretty this packaging is. I love this textured packaging, but I usually put my soaps in soap sleeves or like the sleeves. So this is Crisp Apple, Golden Nectar and Warm Clove Spices. So good. Okay, I got Afternoon Apple Picking, another really pretty textured container. Crisp Apple, Succulent Pear, and Cinnamon. Super just apple pear, that's mainly what I get. Harvest Gathering. Harvest Gathering. Not too fond of the packaging, but I mean, it's cute. 
um, fresh pick apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. This one is more of that clove in there, but totally good with that. That could also transition into winter as well. Most of these can. I don't really care. Apple to me can be year round, but I will use it fall and winter. And last but not least, I got a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This is like the only like pumpkin scent I got and a good another textured packaging. Harvest pumpkin, spice clove, and sugar cane. I just did the candle in this and I loved it. It does not smell like the candle, but it's fine. Soap is soap. So that is everything I got from Bath and Body Works. Oh, it's broken. I can just switch all the lid, I guess. It's not even in here, but it's broken. I'll just have to switch the lid out. Sorry. Oh, there's a lot of writing in there. Sorry. So I did that. <laughs> order from Rose Girls. I have not picked anything up from Rose Girls in so long. I know I should be cutting towards myself. Um, I have not ordered from Rose Girls in so freaking long. I really haven't even been reaching for my Rose Girls wax. I have so much other wax that it's not really, I guess it's not really like my priority because a lot of the stuff that I have is from 2023. And I'm still trying to utilize like my older wax. So I really haven't been using a lot of Rose Girls wax. I'll use it here and there, but I just also haven't really been gravitating towards purchasing from her because I was using a lot of my wax fun to purchase all three. And now they're staying open. So whatever it is what it is. But I am um now not going to be as like, oh my God, obsessive about L3. And I'm going to try to purchase from other vendors. I, I definitely am going to be purchasing from Teddy Bees whenever there's an opening or a pre-order. And then every now and then I want to try some new vendors. Um, and I know I want to try Knowles Farm Sense. I want to try um, some other just vendors. So look how cute pineapples and here is a little thank you card all right so here on top we have a sample this is forest of illusions i actually want to try this so i'm really happy i got it So this is Palo Santo Campfire Cookies Vanilla Woods with a hint of lavender. Oh, this is very, very pretty. You get the sugar cookie, or sorry, the campfire cookies. You get the vanilla woods. Oh, you, get the, you get all of it. Oh, this is so good. This is really, really good. If you like those scent notes. It is really great. So love that a lot. Ooh. Oops. All right, so I got Forest Thunderstorm. This is green, crunchy leaves, woods, ginger, lemon, and vetiver. So I um made this order when she was having her labor, I think it was, 
oh, her 12 year anniversary sale. She had 12% off. So I decided to purchase some Rose Girls since I haven't in a while. So that's why I made this um, order. Look at how full the bag is. Ooh, this is so pretty. This reminds me of something. This reminds me of just a very fresh, like, body care, like, um, maybe, like, from the body shop. I don't really shop there, but it's very, you get the lemon, you get the ginger, you get the leaves, the rain. Oh, this just has such a beautiful crispness to it. You definitely get the ginger and lemon, um, but it's not, like, cleaner lemon. This is, like, a very realistic lemon, in my opinion like a freshly squeezed lemon but then you get that rain and crunchy leaves and this is like I don't know it's so hard to explain this is beautiful and it's like a the only thing I can think of is like from the body shop like a beautiful hand cream or something with some like citrus and ginger and like fresh I don't know beautiful I love that a lot Okay, I got Christmas in July, Beach Bonfire, which is Marshmallow Fireside, Campfire Marshmallows, and Vanilla Lace, plus Spruce Willis, which is Blue Spruce and Flannel. Ah, oh, this is such a good Christmas scent. So this is basically spruce with a little bit of like a manly cologne and a like beach bonfire so like campfire marshmallow vanilla this is so good this is like a toned down christmas tree with like a little bit of vanilla i mean it's straight up like if you don't like tree you won't like this but this is like tree with some like vanilla bonfire it's really good i really like that one too Spooked. This is Macintosh Apple Leaves Bath and Body Works type and Roasted Pine Cones. So I like Apple. I'm not super, I don't buy a lot of Macintosh Apple just because it is a pretty strong oil. But I figured with the leaves and the roasted pine cones, it would be super good. That is good. It's blended beautifully. You get the leaves and the roasted pine cones. I feel like the leaves and roasted pine cones are probably a little bit stronger than the apple, but the apple is there, but it's definitely not as strong as you would think it would be with that Mac apple. And the colors are cute. I like that one a lot as well. Two more bags, I think. Or th three more bags, okay. Fireside Country Blessings. This is Marshmallow marshmallow Fireside Christmas Tree and Warm Potpourri Spices. I like cinnamon spicy scents. Yeah, so this is mainly that potpourri spice, if you know what I mean. Very spicy, very, very spicy cinnamon clove. I'm not getting a lot of Christmas tree. I'm getting like a some sort of woodsy note in there um very strong potpourri but it will be good during like the midst of christmas like right on chris like that for that week or so of christmas that's one of those scents probably won't melt it this year but just saying um, pumpkin cream cheesecake. This is pumpkin sugar donuts, cup of cake, and cream cheese frosting. The main reason why I got this is for the pumpkin sugar donut. I love pumpkin sugar donut. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, her bakery is super good. I'm not a huge bakery person, as you can tell from my um, scents, but this is nice when you just want something just to kind of liven up your living space and you want something just that smells like you're baking some yummy pumpkin pastries. Um, you do get a little bit of that cinnamon in this, but I love it. And it's definitely toned down from the rest of the notes. 
And last but not least, I got Pies Before Guys. This is hot apple pie, pumpkin pie puree, ginger, clove, cinnamon sugar, and vanilla bean noel. I love the hot apple pie oil. Again with the cinnamon, I know. Yeah, this is like so good. It's very heavy on the cinnamon, as you can expect with hot apple pie, but it is heavy. And has cinnamon sugar too. But I love that. I'm hoping some of the pumpkin pie comes out, but pumpkin pie again has cinnamon in it. So I love all of these so freaking much. I would say my favorites are Forest Thunderstorm. Surprisingly enough, it's not even like a holiday scent, but this is like so beautiful. And I really liked Spooked. Um, and I like that the Mac Apple is more in the background. And I really like Christmas in July. So I really like those and I love Forest Evolutions. It's so good. So I love everything, but those three, I would say are my favorite out of the order. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just check it in. Okay. So last but not least, I have a rose, I mean, sorry, an L3 order. Now, I can't actually remember if this is a pre-order or not. I think it, mm, no, I don't think it's, a, I don't think this is a pre-order. should even have another order coming in from L3 because no this is not a um pre-order this is just an RTS but I should have another RTS coming in again as well um so I'm trying to think of what other orders I have coming I don't even know but this is just a few things guys just a few things okay so I have some samples here. Okay. As you can see, I haven't smelt any of this. Boysenberry bourbon brown sugar pound cake. Ooh. For some reason, I'm getting coffee. I don't really know why. Maybe it's next to some coffee in here. Nope. Gray sweatpants matter. I actually have this in a scoop that I'm like slowly getting through. This is like a, I forget what's in this. It's definitely like more of a manly scent. Can't forget what's in it though. And then white elephant exchange, which is like a, powdered sugar donut vanilla type scent vanilla bakery it's it's okay it's not like super strong on its own there's so many of these guys just had to dump some out <laughs> okay so first I have a few scoops and again like I didn't need any of this, but I thought she was going officially out of business at the time that I purchased this stuff and I definitely didn't need it. I wouldn't have purchased it, honestly, if I knew she was going to stay in business because I have similar scents like this in my collection already, but they're, they are scents that I enjoy. They're not scents that I needed though. So this is Smoked Vanilla Hufflepuff. I love Hufflepuff. I've said it multiple times. This is a year-round scent for me. I love it. It is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. It's just a perfect like pumpkin cinnamon yummy scent. And then it's mixed with smoked vanilla. So again, I love this, but did I need it? No, because I have plenty of it in my collection. Oops. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, it's super pretty. The smoked vanilla honestly adds a little bit of like a body care note to it. Leviosa, today is October 3rd. So Leviosa is apple cider leaves spice. And then today's October 3rd is Palo Santo toasted mallow and sugar cookie Froyal. So this is like another apple cider leaves spicy scent mixed with that today's October 3rd. I don't know why sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. Mm. I love apple spice hot apple pie, spicy cinnamon, apple cider leaves. I love those type of scents. And this is such a good mix of that leaves and apple cider, plus that really sweet, creamy. Today's October 3rd. This is a really good mix. I like that one a lot. A uh, silver spoonchula. I just gave like 10 of these away to my friend. Um, she was telling me that she doesn't have, she doesn't know where her scoop, her spoonchulas go. So I just gave her a bunch. I have so many. I got two trig tarts. This is Mac Apple Cotton Candy today. Mac Apple Cotton Candy Salty Sea Air Toasted Mallow. So again, I probably wouldn't have gotten this if I knew she was staying, but super pretty. I barely even get the Mac Apple. I mainly get the Salty Sea Air but that's definitely like probably like a spring scent for me or if I just want something clean in the house by the seashore. I forget this is ozone citrus greens jasmine moss and musk super odd I probably would have never ordered this if I knew she was staying but I don't know oh it smells like soap super fresh and clean. This is 100% a bathroom scent, but I probably would do this in my whole open concept if I was like cleaning the house. But this smells like a fresh like hand soap. It is really pretty, really pretty. I got a little bitty Betty loaf in Weston. This is a part of like her hotel scents. This is inspired by the signature scent of Weston Hotels. Um, brewed white tea, cedar, and Tahitian vanilla beans. Just sounded really fresh and pretty. This is so good. I've never stayed at the West End, but I feel like this is what it smells like. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And one thing about me is that I love me some fresh clean scents. Um, especially when it's hot as heck outside, especially when I'm cleaning, especially when I just want to freshen my house. And if I just got done like melting a bunch of like heavy bakery, heavy woodsy scents, or, you know, just got done cooking or something, I really enjoy me some clean scents. And this is like a perfect scent that I would melt during that time or like a by the seashore or even like a salty seer. All right, last but not least, I did not purchase a lot in this because like I said, I have so much freaking L3 and I'm just trying to slow down, but I was scared and now I'm not. So <laughs> I have another little order coming in and then after that, I probably won't be ordering for a while. All right, so this loaf, again, I did not need. This is vanilla balsam, white birch, and lavender cashmere. I love vanilla balsam and I love birch. So... I love it. Oh, it's really pretty. That's really pretty. Very heavy on the balsam. I'm sure like the lavender and stuff is probably at the bottom. Super good. And this is this will be really good for the bedroom as well because it has that lavender in it. Super pumped about that as well. I kind of, I used to purchase a lot of lavender scents and I kind of gotten away from it because I've noticed that I've been reaching for like more Palo Santo scents or like cotton candy or more like woodsy or sweet, not really herbal. So I've kind of gotten away from purchasing lavender, but I like it in blends sometimes. I just kind of outdid it, I think. But yeah, that is all my orders. I hope you guys freaking enjoyed it and I need to hop off 
and I will see you guys in my next video. I have an empties video that I've been putting off and I've just tried to record it multiple times and it just never worked out. So hopefully I can get that for you guys because it has been, it's just out of hand at this point. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys in my next video.